pre-observation meeting and I wanted to go over what the CSTPs are mm -hmm. and there are six of them. Um, it, from what I understood that you wanted to do was the two CSTPs. Um, the first one conducting um, I know connecting students prior knowledge mm -hmm. by giving them uh, the learning target. That was the first one. And then the second one, it says standard two, creating and maintaining effective environment for student learning. And can you tell me a little bit about your plan on the second one? So uh, for the second one, <clears throat> so you mean um, the first step when I show them, I'm gonna show them the first problem, 35 plus 17. So we'll do it together. Is that what you're talking about? I'm talking about um, the routines that you're gonna implement. Oh, the routine, sorry. Um, okay. So we're going to have the whiteboards. So we'll be working with the whiteboards. We're going to begin by having them just watch me. But then when they're doing the work, when we do the we do, then they'll be going to bring out their whiteboard. So they'll be able to show, like, the left side is the way they're familiar with, and the right side will be the new one that they're learning. Or new method. So this, the two CSTPs, that was, I feel like, the one that you said you're most mm -hmm. comfortable with. Yes. Um, and then I wanted to know about a little bit about your classroom context, which means mm -hmm. like, what is it composed of with your student needs, or mm -hmm. who do you have in there that you maybe might want me to watch, or okay, um, what's your dynamic like in your classroom? Okay, so I have twenty eight students. Twenty eight students. Yes, about I want to say eight are English learners. Okay. Eight, and I have um, one student who has an IEP. Okay. Um, I have one student who 